Hey everyone, it's Argonath here from The Right Way, and um, she's finally admitted it. Former Green MP Golruz Garaman pleads guilty to shoplifting. So there we go. We now have the truth. She is a dirty, stinking thief. This is the former Associate Justice Minister <laughs> we're talking about here. Right, so let's have a look. So, former MP Golras Garaman has pleaded guilty to four charges of shoplifting. Garaman appeared in Auckland District Court on Wednesday, which is today, following a shoplifting investigation which found she had stolen around $8,367 worth of clothing from three shops. Now, come on. We know that this is just the four instances of shoplifting in which she's been caught, and there have been proof. There must be hundreds of times she has shoplifted and has not been caught. You can guarantee that it's not just these four that she's been found guilty of. She will have been a dirty thief uh, for a long time. Wearing a black dress, the former MP appeared emotionless as she stood in the dock with her hands in front of her. Well, maybe she's just wanting to get first-hand experience of the justice system to make it better. <laughs> oh, God. The former MP, whose occupation was listed on court documents as a barrister, a lawyer. I'm sure she'll be in hot demand because she now has first-hand knowledge of this justice system. Stole a Navy cardigan worth $389 from Standard Issue in Newmarket. On October 22nd, Garman stole a piece of clothing worth $695 from Creative Works in Wellington. Garman then stole twice from Scotty's Boutique in Ponsonby, once on December 21, taking an item worth $2,060, and then second time on December 23rd, taking an item valued at $5,223. Now, whatever you think about these stores, which seem to have, you know, super high priced things, I mean, good on them. If they want to fleece wealthy fools that want to part with their money, then good on them. But that doesn't give you an excuse to steal from these particular people, right? If she was stealing food because she couldn't put food on her table, then I might have a smidgen, a very small smidgen of sympathy for her. But no, she's um, stealing luxury items. So no sympathy from me at all. And she shouldn't get any from anybody else. But I'm sure all the greeny sympathizers will be talking up her um, mental health issues and so on. And the fact that she's been um, harassed as an MP. Do you not think that national MPs get harassed as well? Female national MPs probably get harassed too. I'm sure they do. All of them go through this kind of stuff. The former MP's law, oh, this is just amazing. The former MP's lawyer, Annabelle Cresswell, told the court Garaman's case had been subject to aggressive media reports, resulting in threats, some of which were horrific in nature. I've seen all the media reports that are about Garaman. They've tried to um, reduce her offending in any way that they can and try and put her in a good light. Where is all this aggressive media reports that this um, lawyer is talking about? What a load of fucking crap. Media filming of Garamant in court would add vitriol, she said. There are mental health issues at stake. There we go. Bring it back to the mental health issues. Um, of course, there's no proof for this. Maybe she should take a mental health test. Judge Maria Pe Pekotic said that while she was extremely sympathetic to Garamant, she would allow the media to film Garaman and take five photos. Well, finally, a judge that's actually um, stood up for the rights of people to see what she's going on. Look look at her in her designer sunglasses and a designer dress and so on. Probably stolen as well, right? Because she's a fucking thief. Outside of court on Wednesday, the former MP stayed silent as she left through the back, refusing to answer any questions. Why did they let her out through the back? She should have gone out through the front just like anybody else. Don't give her any special favours because she's a fucking ex-Green MP. Earlier this year, Garman stood down from all her portfolios before resigning as Green List MP. She previously been the Green Party spokesperson for justice. Okay, sorry. Maybe she wasn't the Associate Minister for Justice. She was the Green Party spokesperson. Um, I'd have to double-check that, but I can't be bothered. Um, 
It's clear to me that my mental health is being badly affected by the stresses relating to my work. This had led me to act in ways which are completely out of character. I'm not trying to excuse my actions, but I do want to... No, you're trying to excuse your actions. That's why you're saying that you want to explain it. Dol Riz Garaman. Right? You wouldn't try and explain it if you don't want... If you were trying... If you're not trying to excuse your actions. You just don't say anything and let people make up their own minds. But no, you're trying to excuse your actions. Uh, this is what she said when she was first... Um, it was first brought to light. Um... Garman was remanded at large on Wednesday afternoon with sentencing set down for June. Now, what's the bet that she will get diversion for this? If you don't know what diversion is, basically, you, um, if you, I think if you pay back what you've stolen, um, then you can get diversion, which means you don't get a criminal record. Basically, you get off. That's what it is. So it's her first offence, but, you know, stealing... Um, over eight thousand dollars worth of stuff i mean that's not just a very um light crime right and you know you can guarantee there are more things she's stolen which we don't know because she's a fucking thief um so i hope she doesn't get di diversion i hope she either gets at least community sentence um or home detention even better would be jail to maybe teach her a lesson but i don't think it's going to get that far because um you know, she's one of their left-wing heroines. And um, considering how all the justice system is very left-wing these days, as well as the media, I don't think that's going to happen. But at least she's pleaded guilty. And now we can say for sure that she is a filthy, dirty thief. That's what you are, Golriz Garaman. And I hope you get the book thrown at you. All right, that's it from me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, you're welcome to give it a thumbs down. Please comment in the comment section uh, whether you agree with me or not. I'm happy to um, have a discussion about things. And if you like my content, please subscribe because uh, it just helps with the algorithm. Anyway, that's it from me. Catch you later.